time to have a look at what's in store for the month of October. And when we look at South Africa's chart over the next month, we can see things seeming to quieten down. By things, I mean the government and all the different challenges and things that have been plaguing us and pulling on us. It doesn't mean they're going away. It just means we're not hearing so much about things. We'll also find that uh, areas where government has taken a strong or aggressive or forceful approach might also be toned down. We can perhaps call it the month of diplomacy, where people, everyone are, is beginning to get a little bit more careful about what they're saying and doing. And of course, there's an election not far down the line, and that's one of the reasons why. We won't, of course, find the opposition quietening down in any way at all. But it seems as if government is avoiding getting itself into battles. However, it doesn't mean it will absolutely succeed at getting itself out of battles. And it does seem that there's some, be it verbal sparring or policy sparring or something else that is going on with the opposition that is going to make the government feel cornered and perhaps react perhaps a react accordingly. But for the most part, we're going to find that it seems as if we're not hearing too much about the old stuff from them. Does the old stuff include electricity and things like that? No, it, of course, we're going to be hearing the same old things there as well. And we're going to probably be experiencing the same pattern we've had in recent months, where load shedding has swung from very high levels back to low levels. It doesn't look like things are stabilizing, particularly this month, although astrologically in the background, it does look as if that challenge is not getting any worse. Perhaps they are doing something. So there is this thing in astrology about defeating the old enemies, and we do have that with regards to those types of challenges, electricity and those types of services, service delivery challenges that the government faces and that the country faces. Not all service delivery referred to in astrology has to do with the government. Wherever services are provided, in this country that means NGOs or other service providers might also be in strong positions to make an impact and make a difference. We are know, we know, we are told even that one of the big differences that is happening on the electricity frontier is because people have taken that into their own hands and people are adding power to their own grid and perhaps eventually the national grid by taking the power in the situation of electricity further into their own hands and that continues to happen but we may also see new solutions or new innovations new ideas of some kind um, come around in the electricity sphere and then in other services and uh, those types of things, some service provision in the government and in the country as well. So new input, new ideas, new innovations are actually what's helping us kind of defeat the enemy in some way. So it's uh, in the end, a kind of a progress that is being made. On the financial front, we still see a lot of ongoing challenges. The currency looks weak this month, and there's some unexpected swings in that area that we need to watch out for. For the most part, while spending and government money, the Treasury is under control, for once at this time, it still looks like the economic situation as a whole and the currency are challenging to all of us. So it is a time when we'll be kind of tightening our belts. One of the areas where we are less quiet over this month is, of course, sport, with the ongoing Rugby World Cup heading towards its final, still a little bit out of reach at the end of the month. But nevertheless, for the most part, looking good for us. But what is really warned against in the chart is a certain amount of um, not necessarily complacency, but it's almost as if we, the team, might be too focused on its own idea to be aware of what might take a dance. It's great that we've got new strategies that are being experienced as kind of threatening to our opponents. That is a good thing. But we mustn't get too attached to the idea that they're, they're all kind of all struck by our strategy and not going to actually do something about it because of course they are going to do something about it 
So what does show in our charts are cautions and little red flags against sudden developments later in the month with regard to the sporting arena. So it simply means that the Springboks, we need to be on the alert and expecting the unexpected. Just as they're getting the unexpected from us, we eventually are going to get the unexpected from them as well. So if anyone's listening, if I can send out that warning, that's the warning I would be sending out to our national team. Astrologically, it's actually still a little out of our reach to see where the end of this tournament lies, because technically at the end of next month, that's in the astrological month of Scorpio already. And so we'll see more about that coming up in the beginning of next month's month ahead, when we'll see what happens as we rush to the very final. Hopefully along the way, there are no big surprises, because the chart warns along the way, there could well be some big surprises, but we would want those surprises to be in our favor. And as I said, they're really mostly around um, other teams and um, nations radically changing their strategy and um, employing unexpected strategies, just as we ourselves have done. For the most part, the people, the country are beginning to feel the kind of strength that support and uh, of sport engenders in us, that brings us together and pulls us together. As others have said, that isn't really enough to bond the country together. And that is clear in the chart here that, you know, what is really happening in the larger picture is that everyone is strategizing towards their election and towards their own goal. Why everyone on one side is going more quiet is because plans and strategies are afoot. And when we look at the president's chart, we can see he's dealing with matters, I often use the phrase behind the scenes, this time I'll use the phrase at home. That does include his personal life, but it means in his party and stuff that's going on there. We might be seeing less of it out in the open just yet, but it's going to be coming out into the open, perhaps after the time of the Rugby World Cup, and that's the battles beginning to go on inside the ruling party as the election time comes close. As always in this country, what brings us all together is ourselves, not just sport, where we have a common interest, but working on things together. The theme this month is about cooperation. As long as we bring this into the rest of our lives, we'll all find it a lot easier. But let's see what's in store for you in the month ahead. For Aries, it looks like another month of dealing with old stuff, but there couldn't be a better time to be doing it. Old stuff might mean old enemies, like as in people where there's unresolved business. Often we are our own enemy. So it's old stuff that you haven't sorted out for yourself. Sometimes it can even be things like habits and things you've been procrastinating about and those kinds of old stuff. What makes it such a great time to do it is that this is the time where you can really get on top of those things, get them done get them dusted and put behind you once and for all. So this is a really a great time for tackling things that have been difficult to tackle that haven't been giving any results in the past. While most things will do well with that situation, you still need to look at situations with your social circle, be that friends, old friends, and sometimes even acquaintances or other groups and things like that that you might be involved in or related to. It's going to be a little bit more difficult and diplomacy is called for. Not a very strong Aries quality. You're going to have to be working on this one. Maybe you need to get someone to help negotiate a problem you've been having with another person. But this is the time to use a little bit of diplomacy and to be careful of what you say and get, see it as another great opportunity to put old stuff with other people behind you once and for all. Taurus. It seems like a lot of things need changing up this month. And the first place to start is what's happening in your relationships. That's all your relationships. Maybe it's time to just have a bit of a review of are things really working for you the right way in all the important relationships in your life. Relationships should be balanced. The point of a relationship is surely that both people in a relationship should be benefiting from that relationship. So making sure that there's that proper um, balance and give and take in all your relationships, be they your romantic personal relationships or business relationships or anywhere else where there's that kind of 
interaction, interdependence with another. And it actually looks like this is a really good time to take some of those relationships a little bit further. Your chart is showing that there's a lot that the people around you have to offer. So part of this change up is not a shake up so much as an opportunity to really re-engage and see what it is we can do for each other at the next level. And most importantly, beyond personal relationships, in business and in other areas of life where you depend on other people for some kind of resources, that's going to gain. But more importantly, even than that, this is a great time to discover what is available to you through all the amazing people that you know. Time to kind of pull in some of your contacts or maybe explore further how other people enlarge and enrich your life and bring things into it. Gemini, I suspect that you're going to find lots of people reaching out to make new connections with you because it looks like you're the resourceful one in the Zodiac this month. It seems as if this is going to enable you to make new connections and make your working life much more uh, successful or enable much more in whatever you have to do during the course of this month. This means that new resources might become available to you, and that also includes money. It is a good month, Gemini's, for money, but not money that you'll be holding on to. It means it's things like it's a good month to settle some of those bills and deal with some of those old money things, not build up your own resources, but certainly getting rid of things like debt and problems that might be in that area of your life. Focus on goals, creating new goals. It's an excellent month to create new goals, and it's an excellent month to draw on, depend on, and even demand the help on and input of other people. Because it kind of looks like everyone's trying to connect with you anyway, and everyone's got something to offer. So this is the time when everyone's getting together and exchanging resources and doing things together, and it's a really good time for you to come out on top. Even if your business goals don't depend on other people, surge forward. This is a time when a little bit of effort is going to produce a lot of results. Go for it, Gemini. And Syrians, it looks like a lot of your energy is focused around your financial life this month. And that's stuck for good reasons and for not such great reasons. Certainly, you'll be able to be getting money in. You'll be able to deal with some of the financial situations in your life. It's possible that money will also be going out just as much, keeping things not really growing, but not really losing either. And it also might be that debt or other demanding payments are also pulling at your gains during the course of this month. Nevertheless, those things need to be dealt with once and for all. And it's going to be possible through the assistance of others or a specific other person. It's great for partnerships of any kind. It's great for making new connections with other people. And that's also going to balance out whatever your needs are in your financial life and whatever you need to resolve there. So maybe this also means it's time for you to also be able to be a little bit dependent on someone else, not always be the person who's taking care of and providing, but allow yourself to be a little bit provided for this month, not only in financial life, but perhaps in other areas of life as well. It's time for actually you to sit back and be nurtured. In order to do that, you need to make sure you're expressing your feelings and expressing your needs. That is going to be challenging this month. Deal with that and you'll find everything else comes to you. Leo's, whether you're feeling at the top of your game at the moment and on top of things or not, it's time to act as if and do all the stuff that needs, needs to be done accordingly. The fact is, Leo, it looks like it is still a great month for things that need to be done in your professional life. And unfortunately, what makes it harder is that even though this is all about you and this is time for you to go ahead and succeed, there's all sorts of people demanding all sorts of things going on. It's a little bit like your chart says, this is a time where you can go ahead and this is a time when you're going to have to pay attention to the needs and demands of everyone else all around you. Put it all together and it really means, okay, this is a month of cooperation and ensuring that you don't lose sight of what the real goal is all about, which, as I said, is kind of a little bit all about you. And that's getting your stuff done. Ideally, you're not having to depend on others at all to do this. But even if you are, what you really need to do is set good goals at the moment. Imagine you're more like the director of a movie where you have to, um, you want to 
to draw on and agree to all the other people's talents and everything that they've got to put in. But you're the one with the vision. You're the one going forward and go for it. Working alone and pursuing your own things, that'll be very easy to do. In the rest of the situation, it just means draw everyone to what your goal is, point everyone in the same direction, and off you go. Virgo, there is so much going on this month. You might have to actually stop, breathe, and figure out what are your priorities all about. It's going to be easy to get things done, easy to succeed, but you can actually be your own worst enemy by spreading yourself too thin and having too many goals at the same time. So rather be strategic. Since the stars are in your favor, you know, the, your recent birthday has kind of energized you on, now's the time to be strategic and realize this is when I can go for some of my bigger goals or where I can make some of the bigger demands on the people around me. Not demanding, but it's a little bit of, isn't it time that they did things for you rather than you always doing everything for everyone? It's a situation of balance, not just sitting there and taking it all in, but just making it balanced. This is the month of cooperation, organization, sharing, doing things together, doing things as a group. Everyone's going to benefit from that, but in many ways, you're going to benefit extra because your chart shows your goals are being attended to by all and sundry. Truth is, all over the zodiac this month, there's a lot of cooperation, interaction, getting together. It looks like the message from the sky we're getting this month is, if we all work together, we not only get our common goals, but we also get our personal goals achieved. That message, especially for you, Virgos, this month. Librans, things have been going well for you of late. But this is time to just do a little bit of strategizing. Things are probably going to continue to go well, but you must stay focused, stay tuned in, and make sure things are going the way that you want them to go. Especially since you're still making new goals and still forging new territories in many of the things that you're doing or that you want to do. And in order for that to succeed, you, you need to actually give it some thought rather than just going with the flow and seeing where it's all going to take you. It's a great time for strategy because there's new ways of acquiring things, looking at things, understanding things that are available to you through other people at the moment. That often means that these are people who are new to you or that come from somewhere very different, maybe it's a different country or a very different profession than yours, and they seem to be a good source of input or something that you need at the moment. So broadening your mind and broadening your uh, your goals is how the strategy to go ahead is going to work because it still looks like over this month and next month, there are great gains to be made in your working life and any other goals that you might have. If you have a bit of a goal to get away, take a break, that's also a good one to follow because that's going to give you the opportunity to clear your space, clear your headspace, spend some time with yourself and get that strategy in action. Scorpios, one of the things you're especially good at is seeing where other people don't see, seeing what's really going on, having a unique perspective that helps you understand the connections between things in ways that other people don't. And that's really going to be to your advantage this month, especially to your own advantage. This isn't particularly about other people or your interactions with them in any way although it might benefit that as well because it's all about perspective one of the perspectives you'll be able to gain is how uh, your network whether that's people you're working with or working for you or your team in any way or your social network people in the rest of your life who help make things happen you in the position this month to see how things really fit together and how everyone can perhaps work together that part of it is up to you. It really looks like your own goals need to have the priority. Great that you can do work together stuff, but own goals come first this month. And by goals, I really mean even your bigger goals. Not so much your professional goals, although those will benefit, but your bigger goals is kind of what I really want to do from what gives me a greater sense of meaning and purpose, even to what can I really do that makes me feel like I'm making a difference to myself, to the world, to someone else. Focus on the big stuff that's going to really benefit this month. 
Sagittarius, although it's great fun to charge ahead, although there might be lots of new demands in all sorts of directions, you need to take a few steps back and sort out what's going on at your ground level, which can mean your financial life or other basic bottom line resources that you need to make sure are strong, solid, intact, and making you feel secure. It's a month to take care of your security needs and money can often be the first place to start there. You might be relying too much on random luck, other people, or something outside of your control to sort out your financial life at the moment. And while you are a lucky person, and there might even be a little bit of that coming along to help you, this is the time to really take it into your own hands and make it under your own command. So unusual strategies, new ways of doing things, new approaches to your financial life, which can mean just getting on with dealing with it once and for all and getting some things done. All of that's really going to benefit you at this time. Have a look at where you're spending on money on other people or on, on things that you really could be doing for yourself, but that unnecessarily are costing you money. Because it looks like one of the best ways to get on top of money this time is just draw a bit of a, a line, a barrier around yourself, get on top of things that way. You'll be much better off next month. Capricorn, it seems that you need to take it a little bit easier. Maybe there's too much going on. Maybe there's too much responsibility, an old Capricorn problem. But actually, you need to gather your forces a little bit and just get back to your sense of roots, your sense of what's important to yourself, and kind of getting your own house in order, which really means it's a time to focus literally on domestic things, the house itself, and so on, as well as just your feeling of safe, secure space as well. Looks like many Capricorns are having neighbor issues, people around you being some source of problems. Maybe they're just not hearing you. Maybe you're finding it very frustrating to communicate with them. It's not only people like neighbors, it might be people in your family or other people around you as well. And rather than standing and, sh and shouting or trying to make yourself understood frustratingly, get back to your own stuff, focus on you, focus what's on what's important and getting that strong sense of root and foundation underneath you. You'll find that by focusing on your own stuff, the problems with other people seem to go away and it's not really with them. It's really just that there's too much human noise going on around you and that's the space you need to clear. Use this opportunity to build and improve family connections and neighbor connections once your own sense of security and space is strong again, and you'll end the month on a solid footing, both for yourself and with those around you. Aquarians, well, it's kind of it's a good thing you don't depend on other people and because you're going to find them all kind of wanting to do their own thing or doing things that just don't serve any purpose as far as what you need to get done is concerned. Of course, you'll be getting along great friends. All those things that are so important to friends will be working for you. But it's really a time to be more selfish or just focus more on your own stuff. You might actually enjoy the space you get from other people, not getting too involved in everyone's everything and rather just getting some space for yourself at this time. It's a great opportunity to build something something that you've been working on for a while, in other words, will make great progress. And it's a great opportunity to establish something new, to start building something new. So all of this stuff is really about focusing on your own goals, focusing on what's important to you, because you're going to find it very difficult to get any useful input from other people who seem to be kind of wrapped up with their own goals at this particular time. Other people is all about friendship right now, not about goals. So make your social life strong, where it's really just about respecting and loving each other for exactly what we are, and your professional life focus on yourself because you can't quite depend on anyone else right now. Get that balance in order and the month will be smooth for you. Pisces, you know, the month of Virgo that we've just put behind us is never really your best time of year anyway, being about six months away from your birthday. So it's great to know that you're moving into a phase now when you can actually get some things done again. Don't forget, some of the best things done for Pisces of the creative goals, the personal stuff, the stuff that you really love to do, 
But like so many others this month, it's also about cooperating with other people. You might be wanting to spend time alone or being be a bit withdrawn and so on. But rather, this is a time to make new connections and to make connections in unexpected places, because that certainly seems to be one of the things that's available to you. New people, new places, new ways of connecting. That's all going to advance your finally moving forward flow that this month can be all about for you. In other areas of life, it also is time to take a completely new approach. This is a month of kind of shaking yourself up a little bit and taking an alternate way of doing just about everything. I mean, start off with simple things like take a different route to work if you're driving to work, but that might make you see something new, but make that the challenge of everywhere in your life. Where can I find a new route and a new approach just to be new. It doesn't have to be a brilliant solution to an old problem. Just make it new and the new solutions will follow all on their own.